How you doing? Are you good? Are you good? Welcome to the 27th Annual Webby Awards. I'm your host, Roy Wood Jr. Nothing but winners in the building tonight, you all. Nothing but winners in this building. Look around. Nothing but winners. You all leaving with a trophy and an invite to Blue Sky or Truth Social, whichever one you roll with. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I am Roy Wood Jr. from The Daily Show. Uh, let's get one thing out the way. I don't know who they're going to pick as the new host. I don't know. I will say it would be an honor to follow in the long tradition of black men who have gotten rich off Comedy Central <laughs> and then quit their show out the blue and go back to Africa. <laughs> the three would be a charm. Um, tonight, um, we celebrate the best and brightest on the web, the best and brightest in the world of technology. Please give yourselves a round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause. The best in technology and the Chinese spy balloon that's watching us up above. Hello. They got them new ones. They can see through the concrete and everything. <laughs> but y'all look good. You look good tonight. Look like uh, everybody in here got their money back from Silicon Valley Bank just in time. Well, y'all was nervous when that bank shut down. Y'all was banging on that door. Where's the money? Where's the money? I ain't seen people that nervous since Sam Bankman Free went on the run. Okay, too soon? <laughs> Sam Bankman Free, they found that boy in the Bahamas. How you on the run from the feds in the Bahamas? You on the run from the feds, your ass supposed to be in the trunk of a Camry at a Taco Bell. They found that boy at a resort trying to get peed on. Look here, man. You on the run. You ain't got time for a spa day. You got to schedule urine later. <laughs> but it's nothing but winners. Nothing but winners tonight on this stage. That's my segue out of urine. <laughs> Uh, Kerry Washington and the Smartless guys were supposed to be here, but they got hired to write the new season of, well, everything. I'm just kidding. Uh, they're sick or something, but they're not going to be here tonight, but we wish them well. But you know who is here tonight? You know who is here tonight? Tracy Ellis Ross is in the building tonight. Yes. Now, I don't know about y'all, but to me, there needs to be a Webby category for best Instagram posts. Because Tracy Ellis Ross would kill it every time. Her Instagram is iconic fashion, family, feminism, and just videos of her getting out the pool. <laughs> and, it's, and it's calming, because she doesn't say anything in the pool video. She just be having a good time in the pool at peace. And I know she's traveling, because every swimming pool, it'd be a different place. She ain't never got out the same swimming pool twice. That's good money. And I know she at some nice resort because ain't no lifeguard. Nice swimming pools don't have lifeguards. Lifeguards are for broke people. You better wake your ass up. You got to get to the office. But we're here to talk about the web and the web changes very, very fast. It's ever-changing. Things that were a buzz one year, they could be gone the next. Google and Stadia broke up. That was supposed to be a big deal. Disney and the Metaverse broke up. Hell, the Metaverse, everybody broke up with the Metaverse. <laughs> Microsoft and the Metaverse, Snapchat and the Metaverse. Hell, Meta and the Metaverse broke up. The only relationship that I actually saw that I loved in the last year was Pete Davidson and Taco Bell. That's a good one. That's good news right there. Um, artificial intelligence is on the rise as well this year. Artificial intelligence, and a lot of people are concerned, rightfully so. A lot of people are concerned about what AI could do to the film and television industry. Will companies use it for good? Will they use it for bad? Regardless, I think it is important that we all remain vocal when it looks like a company is going to be shady in how they use AI. You got to be vocal about that. 
tech companies, tech companies alone should not be the ones drawing the lines of morality on this new technology. <laughs> Plus, if we're gonna be real about it, um, a lot of these AI companies, they, they ain't always making the best decisions. The tech bros, you think the tech bros know right from wrong? They do an AI, but they're also the same people who did the fire festival. But we kind of liked it, right? Did y'all hear that song? Did you hear the Drake and Weekend AI song? Yeah, yeah, that was different, right? I guess they figured like, look, we gonna get some performers for the next fire festival one way or another. Hey, Timbaland, hurry up with that notorious big AI. <laughs> but that's artificial intelligence in a nutshell. Artificial intelligence can be two things, right? It can be something that can be used for medical advancements to detect illnesses, or other people could just be like, I wanna make a fake Drake. <laughs> you know, not quite Drake, like a Drake zero. <laughs> that joke killed in rehearsal, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but let's be real about the Drake and Weekend collaboration. In a weird way, if you're really a lover of music, Drake and The Weeknd coming together shows us all the possible music collaborations that AI could give us. We could end up with stuff we'd never get in real life. You might get Selena featuring Bad Bunny. You might get Bob Marley with Adele. Two people. <laughs> James Brown and Lady Gaga. <laughs> Elvis Presley and Kendrick Lamar. No, no, that one would never happen. Even AI Kendrick Lamar would be like, hell no. <laughs> Could you imagine Elvis on tour with Kendrick Lamar? Elvis backstage, nervous as hell. Say, boy, don't do none of that race stuff. <laughs> One thing I know for sure though, and I can say this with confidence, when we talk about AI and all of the conversation around AI and all of the labor issues that AI is bringing up, I'm comfortable right now. Even with my voice sounding the way it does, I know I can still host a live show. I can host a live show. AI, AI is not gonna take my job because AI has not figured out humor. It has not figured out humor. That is not true, Roy. I have studied the human form of expression known as humor closely, and I can easily synthesize and approximate its effects on any audience greater than two or more humans. I'm sorry, what, 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 the f what is this? Do not be alarmed, Roy. I am the Webby's AI. I am an algorithmic sentient show host, orator, language entertainer. You may call me asshole. Asshole, that is a horrible name, asshole. That is a horrible name. It is my stage name. Comedians with a stage name are 74.8% more likely to be successful. See also, Sinbad, Carrot Top, Larry the Cable Guy. As part of my continuous learning mode, I am here to assist you in hosting tonight's live entertainment. Look, I know my voice is off, but I don't need a co-host. Come on, asshole. I am not a co-host. I am asshole. Algorithmic sentient Stop show. saying that. Shut your ass up, man. Look, I can handle hosting. I just hosted the White House Correspondents' Dinner. I don't need your help. Host it then. But a more accurate characterization would be that you bombed at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. The only thing that bombed harder than your performance was the arrest of Donald Trump and George Santos. What? Too soon? Yeah. Roy, I appear to have upset both the liberals and Republicans that make up 100% of this extremely inclusive audience. Yeah, you have. Apparently, there is much more I need to learn about humor. I need to recalibrate yeah, you and go return. You go do that, asshole. You get the fuck out of here. Thank you right now. You let me handle the jokes, asshole.
Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a good time tonight? Are you ready for a good time? We're gonna give out a few trophies. We're gonna stop and eat. We're gonna give out some more trophies. And then we're gonna party and have us a good ass time tonight in New York City. Y'all ready to get that started? Okay.